Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. There is one thing that I want to, um, that I want to bring up before we um, really go all the way in. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if you guys heard about this. Um, this is on a lot of different places, but I'll pull up here to share the article from Truth About Guns. Unfortunately, Jeff Quinn has passed. Jeff Quinn of Gun Blast. Yeah, I uh, saw that. Yeah, that was like really sad. I, I think this happened. I saw your picture. Yeah, I think the news came out last night, but I didn't see it until this morning because usually I, I go home and I just, you know, I'm tired by that point. But I mean, Jeff Quinn, man, this was a really, really awesome dude. Um, do you guys do, do we do, have you ever met Jeff Quinn, Lewis? No, never met him personally, but I, I I've seen his videos and I know who he is. Yeah, um, Gunblast, man, Gunblast is like a pioneer, I think. You know, so far as this gun YouTube blogging and all that kind of stuff is one of the. He's probably been doing it the. He's up there with the longest guys, right? If you yeah. think about who's been doing this, and um, I know, like I have, I think I first met him. I want to say I first met him in 2014, and I do have a picture that I, as uh, Trey was saying there, that I shared on my phone. That's what this picture is here. I'll run that. Let me see if I can run this picture in for you guys. This goes back to 2014 SHOT Show, um, Media Day on the Range, and I ran into Jeff Quinn, and I was like, hey, man, you know, big fan, and he stopped and talked to us and spent a lot of time talking to us. And ever since then, you know, whenever I saw him at SHOT Show, um, NRA or, you know, out doing some other event because I, I would run into him at other places. He was always cool. I saw his brothers and everything. They all worked together. Uh, Jeff Quinn was a good dude, man. I know he's been sick for a couple of years here, and um, unfortunately, we we finally lost him. Uh, I, th I believe that it was yesterday, so sad wow. news, man. You know, um it's it's just like i don't know man i i really don't like uh 2020 you know it's, it's been an interesting year to say the least yeah it's been a crazy year man uh, a couple of weeks ago we lost frank de soma of pof you know uh, this i mean there's just a lot of crazy things going on so you know um that's a tough that's a tough one to deal with you know my condolences to his entire family out there uh we will never, we will never forget uh, Jeff Quinn, man. Those braids. If I could grow, if I could grow a beard like that, <laughs> I would, I would, you know, I would braid them up. I don't know who did the braiding, if he did it himself, but he was a cool dude, man. He just, you know, he was just cool. I don't know what else to say about him. Really nice guy. So, um, if you guys out there, if you've ever met him, or if you, I'm sure. Uh, what is this? DCG44 says you have to be a newbie to not know Jeff Quinn. <laughs> there you go. Yes. And I used to look at his videos way before I started doing this. I would look at his videos and stuff like that. So I uh, really enjoyed his stuff. E Rock says uh, RIP Jeff Quinn. Brian Quick says Gun Blast was one of the first blogs I ever read. You know, it's one, I think it's probably the oldest, if not. It's, it's got to be up there, like, to be one of the oldest uh, gun blogs that's out there. So, um, still running. Atomic Bull says RIP. So, you know, that's um, that was some crazy news when I saw it this morning. So, and I'm sure there's a, there's a bunch of people that are still figuring that out. So, make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.